welcome back. Today I came up with a new lesson about phonics. Uh, I'm going to use this book, Oxford Phonics World. Uh, this series of book is really good for uh, beginners and for primary school students. Today I will talk about Oxford Phonics Level 1, which talks about uh, the alphabet. So in Unit 1 we have the three letters A, B, and C. Uh, if some of you know this book, this book has eight main units and other four revision units. Uh, each unit covers about three letters. The last units are a little bit different. So let's see how can we have this class. Uh, as you know, at the beginning you will have like a greeting uh, with the students and then you will have a warm up. Uh, it can be a uh, a song or a, a short game it depends the age of the age of your students now we go to the lead in in the lead in for the beginners for the alphabet to let them know the letter sound it's a challengeable thing so first to let them know that a makes uh, what sound like give them this idea it's a bit challengeable as I said uh, in my opinion, maybe we can introduce it in this way. For example, we show them the cat. We show them a cat and we say, uh, meow, meow. The cat says, meow. Yes, very good. So this is a cat and this is what, what it says. And we can also show them a dog. And the dog says, woof, woof, woof. Very good, everyone. So you can introduce some animals and let them know the animals make what kind of sound. Uh, I also suggested my teachers before to use in the warm-up, especially in this letter, like the um, animal song. And then they, they, like they listen to the song and then uh, they will guess the animal. That song is really great. So, after this, then we will show them the letter A. Uh, this is letter A. Big letter A, small letter A. Uh, it depends on your students, as I said just now. Uh, I know some schools, they teach like this, like big letter A, small letter A. Some other schools, they teach like uppercase letter, lowercase letter. That depends. <sighs> Anyways, and then we show them the letter A. Now, letter A said... And we can let them listen to the sound to recognize it and practice. A A A A A A A A A A A A like this. Now let's do together. So you can invite your students to come to the front and stand and uh, uh, get their body parts ready to do some actions. So what we are doing here, as you see this in this picture, is letter A, letter A. So you do together with them and you uh, encourage them to say the letter and then the sound. To say the sound of the letter A, we would better put three fingers next to our mouth and then uh, say like A, ah, just to let them know how, how much we should open our mouth to say this uh, letter. Then we will introduce uh, some words in this letter by playing some videos like this. Like this is a letter A. What can you see? When they will say apple, ah, the, is the apple happy or sad? Why wow, the apple is sad. Not sad, it's angry. So we give them a new word like angry apple, angry apple and so on. And next will be the learning step. So here we are going to learn. A A A, A A A. Very good. So this teacher is supposed to say A A A, and then uh, put your hand, cope behind your ear to hear them, to show them you are hearing them, and encourage them or lead them to say A A A three times. Then show them some pictures. Do you know this? Apple, X, and alligator. Wonderful. Okay, so we have letter, very good, letter A says ah, 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 and we have and, 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 x, x, we have alligator, alligator, 
when our students are young, we would better not separate the loan words because they will get confused sometimes. And this one is apple, apple. Now we review apple, axe, and an alligator together. We can also play a game.、Uh, if you are teaching offline, you can play like a sticky ball game or a hammer game or with the flashcards. If you are teaching online, you can let them circle or underline, or maybe、uh, who's the fastest or with a timer. We have different games depends on the platform you're using. Then we go to the Trace and write, then say.、Uh, here also, like online and offline, is really different. If they are offline, they will use the pen to write.、Uh, if they are online, they have to write on the on the platform, which is a little bit difficult for the young children. So I suggest to、um, either not do this step online or let them write on their notebook and then show you in front of the camera. Okay, and here we should so show them the steps like. One, two, and three. How it goes, so they will learn how to write. Now we have activities. There are different kind of activities. We also have the chant, and this chant it goes like, ant, a a ant, apple, a a apple, alligator, a a alligator. Axe, a a axe. Then we have a game, so they have to match、uh, the small letter with a small letter and the big letter with a big letter. Yeah. So this is that was、uh, about letter letter A, and、uh, we have uh, uh, sorry we have presented the letter、uh, name. Uh, the letter sound, some words of the letter, play some games to practice,、uh, also write, trace and write, and、uh, don't forget to、uh, encourage your students to、uh, match the word and the picture. This is if they can, because I have some students they cannot recognize the letters yet. Of course, we are teaching the alphabet, right? So I just let them recognize the word as a picture and then match it with the picture, so they don't have to、uh, split it into parts or tell me which letter it is. Of course, because they don't know, so they just recognize like the word alligator with the picture of alligator. And、uh, let me show you the other letters because here we have. Three letters. So we have B, and it goes in the same way. We introduce the letter B. We can do it with fingers, and then we show the sound, and then we do together the TPR of letter B in this way. Then we learn some words about letter B, like bear, bird, bed, and banana. The same thing, b, ed. Bed. And writing, and we have the chant and the activity, and then we have letter C like this.、And、after we finish all the activities, we will have. Sorry, after we finish all the letters, we will have a. Uh, a review for the three letters. So this is the review, like some activities, and then some games. They have to remember, like pairs, like find the pairs. Here is same, find the pairs, and we have a dictation for the students because the dictation will help them、uh, to remember how to write the letter correctly. And then we have the story, and this is all of our PPT for the teaching.、Uh, this PPT is free to download.、Uh, I will leave the the link、uh, in the des description box. I hope you liked this lesson. I hope this PPT will help you in your. 
class and will reduce your time of preparation uh, instead of preparing these things here you have it ready you can just add some interactive games uh, nice activities and get your flashcards ready and that's all uh, I hope you liked it and thank you very much have a nice day bye